The phrase, you hit like a girl, is a common schoolyard taunt. It's an insult, but should it be? I mean, can't girls hit as hard as guys? To find out, we're gonna put female punching power to the test and determine once and for all if being told you hit like a girl is an insult or a compliment. To see if women can deal a blow to this gender bias, we called on the best female boxer on the planet, undefeated world champion, Lucia Riker. You might remember her as the evil boxing villain in the movie, Million Dollar Baby. In real life, Lucia's a dominating force in the fight world. With a record of 54 and 0, 36 by knockout. When people say you hit like a girl, it actually means your arm punching and there are a lot of men that arm punch so the cliche is basically you punch with your arm so punching like a girl is punching like this yeah like, clearly there are can you do that again <laughs> yeah i like does that, that look good well what we're gonna do is we're gonna pit you against a male boxer same size same height same weight and we're gonna see can a woman really punch as hard as a man? You ready to do this? I absolutely am. For this matchup, we need a level playing field. So we brought in the perfect opponent, a man with 100 wins under his belt, Olympic boxer Mo Ganyu. Mo's exactly the same height and weight as Lucia and he's an expert at swinging some heavy fists. To test the punching power of these boxers, we turn to the world's most sophisticated machine, the human body. Say hello to our walking, talking heavy bag, mixed martial arts trainer and heavyweight brawler, Julian Raj. I work as a sparring partner, as a trainer, and as a fighter. Um, I've taken countless body shots. This might be the stupidest thing I've ever done, but today I'm here to be a human punching bag. Our professional sparring partner has agreed to take punches from each of our fighters to determine if he can tell the difference between a man's punch and a woman's which means he'll have to be blindfolded. We're gonna be putting the blindfold on you, uh -huh. all right? And what you're gonna hear me say is boxer number one, you ready? And I'm gonna say three, two, one, and punch. Okay. So you'll have a chance to tighten up your abs, right. right? We're not gonna sucker punch you. Oh, I appreciate it. So can a guy who takes punches for a living be able to tell the difference between a punch from a man or a woman? I definitely think I'll be able to tell the difference. <laughs> I'd be really surprised if I couldn't. It's time for the fists to fly. Here we go. Boxer number one. Ready? Here we go. And three, two, one, punch. This is why we're counting down the boxers to ensure they punch after the 3 2 1 count. Because if our blindfolded punching bag doesn't have a chance to tense his abdominal muscles, a punch that he isn't ready for could do some damage. And second punch. Here we go. And we're punching. And three. Ooh. Ooh. Hold on. It would have been nice for you. Julian, are you all right? <laughs> I told you that you wouldn't get sucker punched. 
Lucia was supposed to punch after the 3 2 1 countdown. But she jumped the gun and sucker punched Julia. Which shouldn't surprise us, because she's best known for that notorious sucker punch in the movie Million Dollar Baby. The woman most famous for the ultimate cinematic sucker punch. Sucker punch is our guy. There was supposed to be a countdown, but somebody got happy and just took off on me with no warning. It was just a reflex, like the word punch is just so conditioned for so many years to react to it. One, two, three doesn't do it for me. This is embarrassing. But Julian is the consummate professional, and he agrees to go again. So let's reset and restart the test. All right, Julian, you ready? Yeah. We're going to count down. Three, two, one, punch. Three, two, one, punch. Mo plants another stinging right. Boxer number two. Coming up, if Lucia can follow the rules, our human heavy bag will tell us once and for all if a woman can really hit as hard as a man. 